What's up, everybody? It's Jay Mack, and welcome back to Bigfoot Input. Uh, I want to thank the like 7,000 people that showed up to our live show last Friday. That's awesome. You guys are making it happen. Um, every show we pick up about you know another 50 subscribers, and that's that's great. We're glad to have everyone on board. Um, every once in a while, a picture comes by that kind of stops me in my tracks, and I have to stop and really examine it. You know, um, there's been a few and, um, we've done this before, but this one is, this one's something different. This one's new. I've never seen anything like this before. So, um, I, I'm just, I'm going to show you guys the picture. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to give it a little bit of context though. Uh, the guy's name is Shane. He lives in South Texas, just right outside of Corpus Christi. Uh, he owns about 325 acres out there. And he has um, what I'm probably going to mislabel as like an irrigation uh, ditch, but it's, you know, it's huge. It's like, it's like a man-made uh, kind of like a river, but it, you know, like a long pond. Anyway, it's a body of water <laughs> and it's controlled by dams and, you know, gates and things like that. And this is for, you know, for livestock purposes. So he has a camera that's set up on a part of this waterway that alerts him to the level of the water. And if it becomes, I believe, you know, too high or something like that, then he has to actually leave his house and drive out there and change the direction via these gates and valves, right? So, uh, I think it was May 27th, 2022, uh, a picture showed up on his phone, you know, from his like system, his camera system, um, that something was caught, you know, something was moving, something was caught in this picture. And, um, that creature is, that's something that I don't think we've ever seen before. It's it's pretty wild so we're gonna look at it he also got a really good uh, picture of a uh, footprint uh, which I would pretty well you know categorize as a Bigfoot footprint um, he did use his hand to measure which typically we don't recommend we recommend using something that is of a stationary or a static uh, you know length or width like a dollar bill or like a you know even a cigarette lighter or something that you can measure and use as scale where everyone's hands are different but you know that's not really a criticism it just is what it is that's how we recommend you do it but um let's see let's just jump right into something here huh how about that let's see here's the print zoom in on it so you guys can take a good look at it but you can see pretty clearly that it has this elongated heel and then up here two three four five toes uh, for sure which looks to be in maybe some sort of I would guess dense mud you know it's not really like loose sloppy mud but there is it's holding water over here so I would imagine that would you know Beef, it would it would uh, hold a print fairly well, you know. But again, I would think that this would take a lot of pressure, so the weight of the creature comes into play here, of whatever made it. Okay. I don't know if I thank Shane for sharing these or not. Thank you, Shane. He did a, he gave us permission during the live to utilize these pictures. So. This is a screenshot of that, you know, thing on his phone. Um, gives him some details. 100 degrees. Sorry to hear that. It's hot. Uh, the, the, nothing else there. The date, nothing really of consequence there. So here it is. Here's the picture. And yes, I have a better version of it. But uh, Delta Base, AT&T. Yep, 100 degrees, May 27, 2022, 11.46 a.m. Uh, this creature appears in said waterway 
Um, there's like there's your fence right there for the cows. This is uh, some sort of pole and a concrete uh, ledge, which you know I don't know if that actually goes. I think it goes all the way down to the bottom and then back up on the other side. Is the way I would assume this works. Um, yeah, we can see the cows back there, but what you can see is this creature here. And and I'll tell you, folks. I um, let me just go ahead and pull up the bit, the more quality picture, the better picture, and we'll just have a, a, a solid look at it, huh? Yeah, this is much better. You can actually see uh, got some strapping going on there. There's your cows back there. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight cows. You notice that there's no horses. Um, I asked Shane about that. He does not own any horses. So this is what we're looking at. love it if it just stayed in the position that I put it in but that's neither here nor there is it so when I first saw this picture I was kind of wild by it you know and and that was that was that I thought I said well we've got a smoking gun here this is this is great so then I started, uh, you know, I have to look at these things kind of critically, you know, with a critical eye. And I did, I asked myself, I said, is, is this possibly a horse? So I started going down that road. Of, is this a horse? And I'll show you, you know, I, I dug up some, some pictures of horses. Here's a pretty horse, you know, that I, um, and they do have lashes, you know, and stuff like that, but they have this like really, really, uh, short fur on their, their faces and their heads. And, um, what, what I'm finding is They also have this like really strong ocular bone. And I'm not entirely sure why that is, why that's so strong, why it's so pronounced. But like every picture of a horse that I found, they all have this big ocular bone. And you know, I, that that's just an interesting point, right? So when we when we look at our creature here, you're going to see that there there definitely is a lack of said ocular bone okay um it's more you know uh subdued in this area here than it would be were it a horse also i didn't find too many pictures of horses where they didn't have a tuft of hair right here that was, you know, coming down over their forehead near their eyeballs, you know, just kind of like right here hanging out. And I keep looking at this picture. And I'm, I keep trying to figure out, am I looking at a side profile with the eyeball facing this way? Or am I looking at a front face picture with the eyeball facing us? And I, what I'm determining is that we're definitely looking at a side profile. And the reason is this is, of course, the the forehead. After you know, after quite a bit of thought and study on this picture, it took me a minute. This is the forehead. So we're facing this way. This is the eyeball we're facing this way. Now I want to point out a pretty distinct separation between this creature and I'm just going to go ahead and use a horse as as a reference because honestly 
I couldn't even I couldn't come up with any other creature that was even remotely close to looking like this creature. But here's the definitive reason why this is definitely not a horse. If you look at the horse, their eyeballs are on the side of their head. This creature, its eyeball is in the front of its face. I'm sure most of you already know, but the, the reason that we point that out is that creatures of prey have larger peripheral vision, so their eyeballs are wider set, you know, like a deer, horse, cow. But if you look at a bear, its eyeballs are straight at you. Two eyeballs right on the front of its face so it can see you. It's, pre it's a predator. This is a predatory animal. Humans are predators. We're apex predators, as a matter of fact. So is this creature. This creature is a lion. It's a bear. It's an apex predator. Okay? We're going to get even closer. Are we seeing whites of the eye here? Or are we seeing reflection of the water? Not sure. I would go with the water reflection as most of these creatures that we've seen, heard of, don't have whites in their eyes. They have, you know, brown eyeballs, black eyeballs, whatever. Um, the fact that this creature has, you know, this like kind of wear on its forehead skin here, I don't know, I would, I would call it weathering. I, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would call it acne necessarily, but it is definitely weathering you know here's something else that I find really interesting I believe I believe that right about here this creature stops and the reflection on the water begins can you see that straight line right there. This is well, see. Follow the cursor all the way across. This is a straight line, and the reason is is because this creature is submerged. His face is submerged so far down into the water, where just his eyeballs are out. Even his like mouth and nose are underwater right now. He's just putting enough of his head out of water so he can see, well, whatever it is he's trying to see. I mean, Shane, I, I think I'd probably keep an eye on my cows if I were you. I don't know, you know. There's, there's some stories out there. But um, so my conclusion is that not only is this an absolute genuine picture it is what I would believe to be the pic a picture of a Bigfoot of a Texas Bigfoot and there are a lot of them in Texas believe me usually you hear more of it about like Northeast Texas Texlahoma area but this is all the way down in Corpus Christi and there may not be a lot of reports but here's one and here's a damn legitimate report too, along with picture. Um, so we had a whole discussion the other night about whether there was Bigfoot in Mexico, and and I believe that there is. It's just not something that's reported and talked about, and I don't think they're that plentiful in Mexico either. That doesn't mean they don't exist that far south. I mean, we're here in Florida, and we've got pockets of skunk apes. Believe me, they're around. So. Yeah, I think we have to put out the narrative in our mind that Bigfoot is in the Pacific Northwest and in Canada and in the Himalayan mountains. These creatures are everywhere. And they are coming back uh, from an evolution standpoint. They're breeding, they're growing. I feel that we will soon encounter some sort of crossroads between us and this creature but for now we have enough 
unexplored wilderness for these creatures to comfortably live uh, and uh, we don't have to encounter them and you know honestly I don't know that I would recommend I mean as much as I love seeing the pictures and hearing the reports I don't know if I would recommend going out into the woods and looking for these creatures um, yeah it's a dangerous thing it's a dangerous thing to do uh, some eyelashes here too it's kind of cool but anyway uh, I just had to share this picture with you guys um, kind of you know ASAP uh, because uh, it's it's that cool so anyway I appreciate you guys listening right and uh, again if you if you really if you dig our channel and you want to see us succeed please feel free to hop over and join the channel which gets you a couple perks you know it gets you like some little recognition during the live chat and uh, to show that you're a member show you're supporting and also it gives you a little bit of exclusive content uh, if you don't want to do that we also have a patreon uh, that you can join to also get said exclusive content all right uh, anyway that's it for me guys uh, this is J Mac and I'm out